in the past, people who are investigating microbial populations have had to use a technology that is expensive, takes some time. It's called sequencing. That's been uh, time consuming, and so we found a new way to do that with the file chip. And using the file chip, you put all your sample onto one surface, and from there we can find out which organisms are present in a sample. The other nice thing about it is you can compare different treatments or healthy environments versus disease environments, or one environment over time as it's declining. So in this study, we teamed up with UC Merced to look at coral patterns of disease. So we have some coral organisms that were healthy and some in a disease state. And by using the phylogyp, we can assess which bacterial populations were associated with the diseased versus the healthy coral. And we found that the healthy coral had some diversity, but the diseased coral had far greater diversity of organisms. And we're not sure yet still to find out is the new organisms that are found in the diseased tissue causing the disease or benefiting from being able to consume dead material. So that would be the investigation for future studies is to find out is this a cause or is it um, just associated with the disease state. And we can also look at other coral reefs in different parts of the ocean to see if this is a common pattern. Some of the organisms we found have also been found with uh, disease sea urchins and disease sea cucumbers. So there could be a pattern that we could help us triangulate on how exactly we can help preserve some of the coral reefs.